104.9 Sunshine FM. That was Simply Bush there and no slouch. And as promised, I did get the boys. I thought I was only going to get one, but we've been able to get both the boys. We've got Paul and Chris from Simply Bush joining us right now. Hi, guys. Technology has been able to put us all together. Hello, Trace. Yeah, we've got two for the price of one tonight. We do yeah, have man. Anzac Day coming up next week. and We have our Simply Bush, the military issue CD. I have that in my hot little hand right now. I just want to say before we get into it any further, we have seen you guys guys perform this song and I do say perform because it comes straight from the heart. You can be in the middle of a big shindig hoedown and everyone's laughing and dancing and all of a sudden you can absolutely turn the whole page and you can be singing Raise Your Glass. I believe that it is so respectful the way that you sing these songs and the way that you've written them and recorded them. So thank you very much for showing respect not only to to the people that are serving or have served or are going to be serving but to the actual words and the music of those songs. So thank you very much for that. Well, thank you, Trace. It's a beautiful comment, mate. And, and we absolutely sing it honestly and from the heart when we do. We take it serious each time we perform the song, Trace. Every time something true and respectful comes out, we do take heart. There are a lot of songs out there, and I don't want to ditch anyone's songs, but there are some out there that seem to be for the moment, whereas this song really does show respect, and you can do this all year round. It's not something it's, that's for the moment. Yeah, it's, it's one of those songs, Tracy, that, that every time we do um, perform it, it's just as you said, it doesn't matter what people are doing. It just seems to stop people in their tracks after about the first 20 seconds. People just adopt the whole thing of raising the glass and it's a colloquial um, sign. It's not about drinking. It's, it's it's a colloquial sign. It's just like mm. shaking someone's hand and it's a sign of respect. So what do you guys feel when you actually look out into the audience and you see the crowd, you know, standing there, you're singing this song and all of a sudden all the arms are raised and those glasses are in the air? I sing the main vocal on this song and then Chris and I sing the choruses together. I, I often find myself with Greasy actually backing me up like in terms of taking over because I sometimes become very emotional. I did a, a little thing for my father-in-law recently. They had a VC recipient who was a member of their uh, pistol club mm-hmm. and he asked me to come down on their annual shoot and they named that after the VC and there was an old um, Vietnam digger in the in the audience. He was literally had tears streaming down his face Trace and, and so that gets to me a lot. I, I really do feel that and I know Reezy does as well and it is emotive even after seeing it for it's been 18 months I guess since we wrote the song Reezy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, there would be. And, yeah. and it, still, it still is emotive even to us. We've got the, the military issue at the moment and it has Raise Your Glass, Father's Day, Rose in the Stone, No Slouch. Rose in the Stone, that song is just so special as well. How, how did that one come about? Well, um, you may be aware of a bloke called Bob Gannage and Bob's a very well-known painter, particularly around country music circles because he'll often be on stage or in the audience painting a country music act. Bob stayed with me at one stage, Trace, and he told me a story about Sid and Lola, uh, an old couple. They got separated by the Second World War. When Sid came back from the Second World War, he had found that his childhood rival, the song really tells the story, Mm. but his mate from school, who was always his main opposition, had actually married Lola because Sid was away. And so then Sid didn't marry again. He waited for many, many years. And when Lola's husband passed away, he came back into town. And you wouldn't believe it. They got together and then travelled for many, many years together. And that they were sort of in their 60s when they got back together after a lifetime of separation because of war, you know. And furthermore, Lola grew up on the Rose Farm, which is in Thirlmere, which is just near my home. That, that's why it's the Rose and the Stone, because Sid was a traveller, and at the end of the song, we made it so they got back together, but in actual fact, Sid couldn't sit still, so they were getting quite elderly, and Lola went back to the Rose Farm, and Sid couldn't sit still. He stayed there for a little while, but then he took off again, and we didn't put that in the song, did we, Reggie? We didn't want no, to have a didn't. sad ending. we didn't. You know, and that's why oh. he's the Rolling Stone, because he just kept rolling along. Okay, so, Riggsy, what is happening on Anzac Day for Simply Bushed? We're playing down at Rudy Hill RSL. So we start down there at um, 4 p.m. We start 4 p.m. Down. Yeah, 4 p.m. Mate. So and it's, it's a free show. Bring the kids. We, it's one of those times of year that we just love to play for kids and everybody. And for anybody who wants to get a hold of the the Simply Bushed military issue, yep. how can they do that? The Best easiest way, way Trace, is to just get, jump onto our website, which is www.simplybushed.com.au, and um, you can actually order it there, and, and uh, you know that'll calculate the postage to wherever you are and all that sort of stuff. So that's the that's the easiest way because it's not actually available in the shops. We don't have a, a distribution deal for the EP. It's, it's all being done independently by us on this occasion. And Trace, they're only 10 bucks, mate, you know, and, and we put our heart and soul into it. So, um, you know, it's worth, if you want to order one, 
get one for your friends. And we've, we've actually been, when people identify themselves as military, we've been wanting to give them away to people just to spread the word, Trace. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Chris, for joining us tonight. And thank you very much for your beautiful music. Here it is right thank now, you. the full version of Raise Your Glass. Freedom, raise your glass To the men who took the fall